Hey growers, what's up? What are you looking at? Lucas, people are gonna think you're crazy. You're doing a lot of weird stuff. Yeah, but they'll know it's a joke, right? This raised bed here is filled with tomato plants. The front six plants are all big beef variety, so they're the big red beef steaks. And this one here, as you can see, is gonna be a single stemmed plant. Looks pretty good so far. I've been pruning all the suckers off. If you haven't seen my latest pruning video, check it out, link in the description. So as you can see, um, the plants are looking pretty good. Most of them are around, I'd say three feet tall. They're just starting to set flowers now. So right here, we got a nice little cluster of big beef flowers. So I'm hoping that these plants will start fruiting up soon and uh, we'll be harvesting in no time. And okay, at the back, we got some cherry tomatoes. Now these are both sun gold variety, which is a hybrid little orange cherry tomato. These are supposedly one of the sweetest, actually the sweetest cherry tomato out there. And uh, I think they're, they taste pretty good. They have a nice kind of citrusy flavor. So you can see we're getting lots of tomatoes here just putting on the growth now, starting to really uh, get some height on them. We got the first flower cluster, then we're starting to get a second cluster here, and we got a third cluster already starting. So these things are just, just going ham here in my garden. We're gonna get such a big harvest of tomatoes this year. And you can see this, it's growing up the stake here. This stake is around, I'd say nine or 10 feet tall, probably nine feet. And I'm just tying the plants with this Velcro plant tie, especially meant for plants. And it's nice because if you ever need to, you can adjust it. It just, it's Velcro. This is another sun gold tomato plant, but this one, I'm just growing it up this big cage. So I'm not gonna be pruning it or anything. It's just gonna be going crazy. And as you can see, it's got a lot of stems, a lot of growth compared to the other one. This one and this one right here, were both planted at the exact same time. So you can see what a difference that pruning versus not pruning makes just in the how bushy the plants get. All right, so that was my main tomato raised bed. Now this one right here is mainly focused on peppers. So I got two rows of bell peppers. This is the red variety here. And then I got four of the yellow variety. So these ones here, the variety name is X3R Red Knight. It's a hybrid variety, I've never grown it before. But you can see we're starting to get lots of nice flowers going on these plants. I got them staked up with these little bamboo stakes. And I almost forgot. We're getting our first little bell pepper right here. So there's a little one right here. It's kind of elongated, so maybe it's kind of deformed, but it's only the first pepper, so I'm sure we'll get some really good specimens as we go throughout the season. This one right here is called the Hot Paper Lantern Habanero. It's a kind of elongated red habanero, and we're really, really starting to pump out the peppers right now. If you can see here, basically just loaded down with flowers got a lot of little peppers starting to form and we got a lot of new growth coming out so looking really nice i got these little cages here to support them and uh, it'll be nice to see how these things produce we should get a big harvest this year okay and then this plant right here is a carolina reaper it used to be the world's hottest pepper i don't think it still is you can see it's pretty short it's only about a foot and a half tall but it's going to really start growing quicker once these uh, uh, new branches start taking off. So it's just a matter of time for this guy. And then back here, we got some, some tomatoes. These two are both sun gold cherry tomatoes and they're both single stemmed. So you can see we're just like the other one I showed you before, we're getting some nice fruit set on it, starting nice long clusters. I really like the single stem method so far because it just, it looks really uh, nice and tidy. I like how there's just one single stem that's going all the way up. And I think these plants will get to the top of this uh, nine foot tall stake. And back here, we got some really cool heirloom tomatoes we're growing this year. Well, I'm growing because I'm the gardener. These are the blueberry cherry tomatoes. It's a small cherry tomato variety that is supposed to get bluish color, bluish reddish. So it'll be interesting to see how these grow. We're starting to get some flowers forming and some little tomatoes. So it's only a matter of time before these things really start producing nice long clusters all the way up this trellis. This is gonna be absolutely beautiful at the end of the season, so stay tuned for that. Now these blueberry cherry tomatoes are growing up this really tall trellis that I built myself this year. It's a pretty simple trellis design. 
I've seen other people use it on YouTube and on the internet. And it's just using some electrical conduit and a four by eight foot sheet of uh, concrete reinforcement wire mesh. So it was actually pretty expensive, but I think it's gonna be a good investment and uh, should last for years. Oh, and I forgot to mention, this row of yellow bell peppers, the variety name is Sweet Sunrise. So I've never grown this one before either. It's a hybrid and it produces these nice medium to large sized yellow bell peppers. So if you haven't seen my video uh, where I talk about my automatic irrigation system, basically, um, if you notice, there's some uh, black tubing running through my raised beds. And basically what this is, is just uh, plumbing or irrigation tubing for my uh, plants. So I have, I have a timer set that every, every Sunday at 7 a.m. Uh, the water turns on and it's gonna go through these pipes and go to each plant and at the end you got these little drip emitters so these are going to be like dripping water and right over here coming out of the vegetable garden we got some uh, zinnias here so this is a an annual flower that I planted to attract bees and other pollinating insects if you just want to follow me over here I, I got some celery planted under this Japanese maple tree it's kind of weird that it's just under the under a tree like this but I just didn't have any more space in my yard because I have a pretty small yard. Um, so this variety of celery is tall Utah and you can see it's doing pretty well so far. Now I've never grown celery so I really have no clue what I'm doing but so far so good. I've heard that celery needs lots of water so that it because it's it's actually uh, a plant that was uh, originally growing in kind of marshy swampy areas so it's used to having lots of water on its roots constantly. So I've been watering it a lot and it seems to be doing pretty well. I've actually tasted one of these little stalks and it tastes like celery, but you can s they still need to do a lot of thickening up and growing. I wanted to grow lots of super hot peppers this year, but I don't have enough space in my raised bed, so I had to use containers. And uh, I've got a bunch of different varieties. This one right here is hot paper lantern habanero. It's the same variety as the one I have in my raised bed. So we're gonna see how this one's gonna do in comparison. Hopefully, hopefully it'll be a cool ex little experiment to see raised bed versus pot which pepper plant does better i'm guessing the raised bed will do better but we'll see then here carolina reaper this one is a ghost pepper or boot jalokia it's doing pretty good all of them are doing pretty good but they're not setting many fruits yet another hot paper lantern habanero they're setting lots of fruits oh yeah actually sorry, sorry they're setting lots of fruits uh, according to the camera camera person um, we got here nice little pods so these ones are going to ripen into a nice kind of lava red color it's really cool i just got a bunch of more of the same kind of varieties another one i forgot to mention is chocolate habanero so this plant right here is a chocolate hab it's uh kind of a interesting habanero because it ripens to a dark brown color you can see it's a pretty short stout plant in comparison to the others i saved all these seeds last year so these were all grown from my own seed oh yeah and then one other thing i wanted to show you guys I got this really nice uh, tomato plant growing here. This is a new variety this year. It's called the uh, the sea blue tomato. So basically, it's like a. Just kidding. This is actually a weed. <laughs> it's it's not a tomato plant. It's a weed. All right. So growers, boom. There you have it. Vegetable garden, late June. When I post this video, it might even be July. So, yeah, late Ju late June kind of garden tour. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you found it cool. And remember to smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, share it with your friends and family. And as always, I'm out, peace. I'm out, peace.